Hello Pisces, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be a reading where we look at past, present, and future energies as, as well as how you feel about each other. Thank you so much for being here. As always, this is a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Pisces watching, so just keep that in mind. If this doesn't resonate for you at all, then check out my playlist for Pisces. There might be a reading there for you. All right, let's jump right in. Spirits, angels, guides, what messages do you have for Pisces? Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? Who or what is coming towards them in love? Okay, we got number six, mature woman. child number 18 community at the bottom of the deck so this could be a situation where there's multiple people involved child card here is a card about new new beginnings things that are small inexperienced um new mature woman this could be a uh, older feminine energy um does not necessarily have to be a woman, but someone that maybe is um, involved somehow. This could be you, your person, could be somebody outside of your connection. Because I have community here at the bottom of the deck. So it's like multiple people here, co-workers, family members, friends. We'll see. Let's look at the tarot. Tell me more for Pisces. Who or what is coming towards them in love for Pisces? Who or what? Who or what is coming towards them in love? Who or what is coming towards them in love? not grabbing cards because I'm going to actually cut the deck. I was just shuffling a little bit more. Okay, let's see. In the recent past, we have the Two of Wands reverse. In your energy, we have the Star, Aquarius energy, and the Queen of Swords. In the present, we have the Three of Swords reversed and the Ten of Wands reversed. Yeah, so there's definitely something in the way here or some sort of interference or something to do with like more than two people. In their energy, we have the World reverse with the Knight of Pentacles reversed. And in the near future, we have the Three of Wands reversed. Bottom of the deck, I have the Page of Wands you know, this new energy once again. I feel there's impatience, frustration at maybe a cycle not closing, uh, maybe a new beginning being delayed, um, maybe someone has been waiting a long time, too long possibly. I feel like you still have hope for something to happen. Maybe you've done a lot of personal healing or you're thinking of yourself right now with the Queen of Swords and the Star. Maybe you have hope for communication, for something open and honest. Because this person, I feel like they have delays on their end. And there's definitely some sort of baggage here that someone wants to drop. Or maybe it's just too much of a weight on this connection. We'll see. Tell me about the Two of Wands reverse. Why is the Two of Wands reverse here? I feel like a path has been chosen. The Empress, definitely I feel a path has been chosen here. And it's maybe a path leading to growth, expansion, creativity. Tell me about the Two of Wands reverse. Maybe one more. Ten of Swords, wow, a difficult ending. So now that there's been some sort of ending, I feel like someone's focused on beginning something new, creating something new. Focusing possibly on themselves as well, because I have the Empress here. 
Okay, so let's see. What's this Three of Swords reversed about? Someone's focused on abundance. Actually, tell me more about this Empress. Let me go back here. Wow, see the Ace of Pentacles with the Hangman reverse. So no longer being stuck, an opportunity, something that is um, solid, stable. This is someone that doesn't want to sacrifice anymore. Maybe they've already done enough of that. That's what I'm getting so far for the uh, recent past. Now, of course, energy is, I mean, not energy, time, of course, energy is fluid, but time is fluid. So this could have already happened, be happening right now or happen in the near future. So let's see, what's this Three of Swords Reverse about? What's this Three of Swords Reverse about? What is the Three of Swords Reverse? Four of Cups Reverse. Why is the Three of Swords Reverse? Eight of Pentacles. Effort. Bottom of the deck, the magician. Yeah, making something happen. I feel like there's... <clears throat> this could be somebody wanting to... Oh, man, but I just don't understand the Four of Cups reverse. I mean, it could be that this is someone that is opening themselves up to something that they weren't interested in in the past. And now they're willing to work on it, manifest it. Let me see. Can I get one more, please, for this Three of Swords? Reverse. One more, please, for this Three of Swords. Reverse. Oh, and then there's the Five of Wands. So I feel like this, whatever effort someone's making to manifest something, it's going to cause some sort of brouhaha here. Again, I have like multiple people here. Conflict, drama, fighting. Maybe there's jealousy. Why is the Ten of Wands reverse? I feel like this is what is in the way. It's like too many people are in the way here. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. The Magician. Yeah, it's like someone wants to drop a burden <clears throat> and manifest something. Hold on, I just lost my voice. <coughs> Tell me about the Ten of Wands reverse. Why is the Ten of Wands reverse? Knight of Cups reverse, Ten of Cups reverse. Yikes. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So it's almost like someone wanting to drop a burden here and manifest something new. It's going to like be heartbreaking for somebody, disappointing for somebody. Maybe they're manifesting something because they're heartbroken and they want new love. They want abundance. <clears throat> there could be family issues here. Maybe family issues are manipulating someone in some way. Take it as it resonates. But I feel like this is someone that wants to definitely make something happen. I just feel like there's obstacles. What's behind the Ace of Cups? Yeah, Five of Pentacles. So some sort of struggle, something missing, financial difficulties. So let's see how you're thinking of each other. What are the energies you're bringing to this connection? I'm using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. This is linked down below if you're curious. All right, Spirit, tell me more about Pisces and this other person. What are their energies at this time? What are their energies? Tell me about Pisces. Now, Pisces, I have you on this side. I have your person on the other, but feel free to flip them if it resonates more. Tell me about Pisces. About Pisces. Wedding bells, marriage, commitment, union. So you could already be in a commitment or this is what you want. Maybe your person's in a commitment. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. Budding romance, new love, romance, courtship. Romance is in the air. So there's feelings here. New love, again, this concept of new love, which kind of goes with this child energy. I feel like your person wants something new with you. And I feel like you want this too. So what's the problem? 
So let's start. Why is this star here? What's this star about? Five of Cups reverse. So you want to recover something that you've lost, overcome the difficulties of the past, heal something possibly. Two of Pentacles. Okay, weighing your options, trying to make a decision here. Maybe it's a decision between two, past, future, or um, maybe you're just undecided. Knight of Wands. You want something. But then I have the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So it's almost like you want to probably break free and boldly go after what you want. Um, take action. Move forward towards something. Um, but I feel like there's some sort of feelings of being stuck here. Why is the Queen of Swords here? This is reminding me of this mature woman. If you look at this, these two... Um, photos they're even kind of like wearing the same thing and their hair is kind of the same color why is the queen of swords here queen of swords she doesn't take any bs from anybody six of wands success recognition why is the queen of swords here Seven of Pentacles reversed. So I feel like this Queen of Swords wants to maybe talk about success or they're logically trying to think of how to be successful because something hasn't been growing or manifesting or maybe too much time has passed or maybe there's impatience or frustration it's almost like she wants to take charge of the situation or talk about something so let's see what about your person why the world reverse for your person why is the world reverse for your person I feel like there's delays here in closing a cycle or starting a new one why the world reverse six of swords yeah this is a, uh, leaving a difficult situation behind headed towards something else something different four of wands reverse this is probably leaving home leaving a difficult situation at home this person could even be leaving a commitment Leaving because things are just not balanced, not in harmony. This could have already happened in the past or be needing to happen in the future. Trust issues, giving up, um, no longer fighting for something here. Or maybe they're just exhausted mentally. And I feel like this is someone that's thinking about leaving. Tell me about the oops. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Okay, this one wanted to. Page of Pentacles reverse. There could be financial difficulties for this person. Maybe they're unable to commit to something right now. Queen of Cups reverse. Heartbreak, disappointment. Not listening to their intuition. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Temperance reverse, Sagittarius energy. So something's not really happening or coming together for this person. Um, temperance reverse could be a card where more time, more patience, more energy is needed to bring something into balance here. Bottom of the deck, I have the Six of Cups. So this could be something related to the past, a soulmate connection. For some of you, this is related to children. There's children, um, something to do with children is probably something like finances or something like that, that that's involved here. So I feel like your person or, you know, this could be you as well, is trying to manifest something because 
they're very unhappy. Sorry, that's thunder outside. Um, there could be some sort of interference here, drama. And it's like someone's thinking about how to still have a new beginning despite all of that. Why is the Three of Wands reverse? For Pisces, why is the Three of Wands reverse? I'm also thinking here, um, it's like you want this person to make a choice here and take some sort of action. I feel like that might be the case. Um, you want to have success and it's almost like you've waited so long, you've probably given them several chances and maybe you just are ready to just get this done despite the the consequences. I have the Queen of Cups reverse and the Queen of Swords. I feel these are very two very different energies. Um, Tell me about the Three of Wands reverse. Three of Wands reverse. The Ace of Wands. So yes, this is definitely somebody that is kind of impatient for this new beginning or has been waiting a really long time and no longer wants to wait for this new beginning. Then I have the Lovers, Gemini energy. So definitely somebody wanting a new beginning here with a partnership. I have the Three of Cups, some sort of reunion coming together, and then the Three of Pentacles reverse. So again, this energy of there being some sort of interference, possibly in the form of a person, kind of getting in the way of a reunion here or celebrating something. Bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune reverse. So maybe it's just bad luck or bad timing right now. Something that, you know, is going to be a little bit more difficult to achieve, but I think it will still be achievable. Because I think the desire, the intent is there. It's almost like, you know, the other things in the way here. Can I get one more for this Three of Pentacles reverse? Three of Pentacles reverse, please. Seven of Wands, yep. Challenges or obstacles, um, needing to have courage. That's kind of what's in the way here. Other <laughs> with the seven of wands. Someone needing to fight back, stand up for themselves. I think that's what the five of wands is. I don't know what this is like specifically related to. It could be family members, another partner, something from the past, um, finances, some something where someone needs to kind of fight back and deal with these challenges or obstacles head on. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. Hopefully this reading resonated for you. Otherwise, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please leave me a comment if this resonated and you just want to tell me if you like the reading. I love hearing from you. Um, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more readings from me. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.